Hello, welcome to the Roy Rogers Show with your host, Roy Rogers. Today, um, so far I'm going to be battling the Elite Four. So, um, I'm sure all of you would like to see me do that. Excuse me for about one minute. Okay, now before I do this, I must heal up. You know, just in case I didn't yet. And just I don't get warped over to another place if I didn't if I didn't heal there. So if that lady doesn't respond, well, not late. Really, she she does respond to you, but if she says I'm so sorry, Lorelai's out. You wasted your time and stuff. Then guess what? You have to wait about six hours. Now, any questions that you might have in the game, you can look on the FAQ section. You can look at any questions, and here, here are some links. They went ahead and posted some links for you, for for some questions. Um, I think there's a hot button you can do. Isn't there? Isn't there a hot button you can do? Okay, I want to look. I want to just cheat a little bit. I'm gonna go over to control. Where's FAQ prior. What? No. Mm. Why don't I just make it simple? Just make it a plus sign. Okay. So, you can do the hot button for FAQ. That's this. That's the FAQ. Um. Now, these are the questions. I think to get out of it, you do the hot sign again. Yep. All you gotta do is just click the hot sign, if you, or the hot button, which I chose a plus sign. And this is listed as FAQ, frequent, uh, frequently asked questions. There we go. And uh, yeah. And you can find the lady actually over here someplace hmm like in the elite four there right here i wish i could highlight this but right here why can't i rebattle the elite four you can only do so so once every six six real hours regardless rather you uh, uh regardless of whether you win or lose so today i'm going to be doing a video about the Elite Four, because, yeah, some people just don't like my content lately. So, I don't know if I'm supposed to post more videos in a day or what. I don't I don't know what it's, what's even wrong. And they won't even tell me what my errors are. So, just to give you a brief idea of what I'm, what I'm going against. Okay. So. We're we'll going to the Elite Four, and meanwhile, while I'm battling Lorelei, I'm going to put on just a little bit of some music. And of course, I'm going to be pausing the fighting because I don't want you all to see my moves. Just in case you all battle me, I don't want I want to see all your moves. Now, no, now this is this is my hypno that I'm going to be doing with um, XP share. Now, I'm not too sure if I told people this, but I do actually like hypno. Regardless of the Pokedex entry, you know why? Because I remember back in Pokemon Stadium whenever I picked Hypno, and it was bulky. I mean, seriously. Whenever, whenever you did a, an attack that was even super effective against it, the, the Hypno, it wouldn't even, it wouldn't even scratch him for one bit. It, would, it wouldn't even scratch him. And if you understand what I'm going against, Level 50. My Hypno is a level 50. And in the tournaments, the computer trainers bring like level 55. So, yeah. Let's just say that the Hypno is quite bulky. And every single time the opponent keeps trying to grab a hit, from a blizzard to a body, to a body slam, to... 
to um, to something like that. Uh, yeah. Let, let, let's just say let's just say that uh um, yeah you you can see you can see this in my previous video uh, yeah. all right so um hypno is very bulky okay let's go and get to the battle I'm gonna be grabbing my radio if you all don't mind so I will be right back okay I'm back I got the radio okay now I'm gonna battle Lorelei, and of course I'm gonna pause whenever when I fight. Just, um, just say all of you do not see my moves. I mean, and then every single time I enter the Elite Four, I'm gonna play a little bit of some music. Um, this this tune will specifically be for Lorelei, and while I'm playing that tune, I'll be right here. Okay. If you all ever need to take a break, go to the bathroom, this is your time to do it. You have about four minutes to do it, so I would advise it that you are quick. Just a little quick in the bathroom. Alright, let's play this tune, or you can just listen to it, or you can fast forward if you want, if you don't want a break. But I'm getting a break, I'll be right back. Sorry about that. <laughs> I meant to say not not break. I meant a warm up. Sorry about that. A warm up. All right. I wanted to say that. I wanted to warm up for Lorelei. All right. I'm gonna I'm going to take my break now, or warm up now. Sorry to disturb you.
I'm back. Okay. I'm warmed up. Now, now I'm time. Uh, sorry. Now, now it's time to battle Lorelei. Now I'll play each tune, but they will be shorter and shorter. Okay. Okay, Lorelei. Let's play. We're not playing. Sorry. Let's battle. Let's battle. You're on tape. Cloister. I remember you. You're like you're like a physical physical defensive bulk poke. I remember that. Slow poke is a special defense um Pokemon. Cloyster it's known for its physical defense. Yeah, I have a special move for it. It's not good specially, actually. So, um, yeah, Cloyster is good against Tauros, but really bad against um, against a special attacker. Like if you did a, a Mega Drain on Cloyster, its health would be almost down. Just saying. Little cloister tip if you all are battling against the cloister. Okay, let me battle, alright? Lapras! Wonderful! Lapras is known for its. I would. Special bulk and defense bulk. Uh, let's see what time it is. Oh, alright. Um. The happening now segment is there. Excuse me for about one minute. I'm going to go ahead and pause this. But anyway, I just had to tell you about, about Lapras's uh, bulk. And defense and special defense. So yeah, it could, it could pack a little bit of a punch. Just saying. Hello. Uh, I just hit the next poke. Uh, Pillow Swine. Pillow Swine is um, just a little bit bulky um, in, I think, physical attack it's bulky. Special, uh, it's not really that good. Also, defense. Defense is nice on a Pillow Swine. Special defense, not so good. I mean, unless it has a Thick Fat ability. I mean, I can take it out right now, but yeah, within one stroke, that um, with a special attack. So yeah, I just wanted to say that speed is also not too good too, because uh, if you if you notice the pillow swine, it's based off of a uh, mammoth. It, the, it looks sort of like a mammoth. So um, yeah. Mammoths are not known to move very fast. Okay. I will be right back with the next poke. Oh, and I forgot to describe the, the, the other poke that I was battling, Dugong. Dugong is mm, so-and-so, kind of an average poke. It's decent. Uh, yeah. Just wanted to say that. Okay, I'll describe each poke of the Elite Four. Just say you're more easily able to, to defeat them. Okay. Please stay tuned. Jinx. Jinx is a uh, pretty average. I mean, it's not. It, it's it's kind of good specially, but not really that. That good in um, in physical defense, um, special defense. It's it's a little better at special defense, but it's still not really the ideal poke that I would really like so much. Okay, I'm gonna battle Jinx, and I will get right back to you. Okay, so we're at Bruno's Lodge, and like I said, I'm going to be looking for shorter music. 
Okay, let's take this little warm up and I will, uh, especially with that bulky guy, I need to do some serious warm up. Some serious warm up exercises, I should say. Welcome back. Oh boy, I think my character's ready. Okay. Let's go ahead and battle against Bruno. Okay, Steelix. Let me go ahead and describe Steelix for you. First off, um, there is a game master that actually loves Steelix, so um, uh, I'm not going to insult it too much, but can I just add my personal opinion towards Steelix? I th Steelix may be a deadly machine, but it's a physical deadly machine, not not so much a special deadly machine. Specially, Steelix is not that good. Physically, Steelix is pretty pretty. Uh, uh, it, let's just say you just pack a punch. Now, defense excellent. I tried to use Brick Break on it, and the health bar went all the way up to here. So yeah, if I use um, Flamethrower, the health bar goes all the way down and the Steelix faints. So my conclusion is that special defense is not that good on Steelix. Defense 
that thing, if, if you if you have a Nino King that only deals with defense, you seriously don't want to, you don't want your Nino King to be battling that, that Steelix, because Steelix is pretty dangerous, especially to physical attackers. And here's the best part. Steelix can't even get poison point, because Steelix can't even get poisoned. So take that, Nino King and Quillfish. Just wanted to say that. I think I should battle now. Champ, Machamp. Really, um, Machamp is good, like offensively. Not not so much special. It's not really good special uh, attacking, and but it's very good in, in its defenses, especially. Defense and special defense. I mean, the champs are known to be very bulky. I mean, look at the thing. It has muscles. How could it not be bulky? Just, just look at it. That thing looks almost like uh, I don't, I don't, I don't know. It looks almost like it's ready to rock smash something. But be very careful because Machamp can actually learn cross chop. And what that means is that is that um, if um, if Machamp decided to do that to you, and you are like a uh, a rock type Pokemon, you are gone. You are over because Machamp is very good offensively. So be careful whenever you're facing a Machamp because Machamps can be a little deadly, and they're bulky. Even though I do a slash. It's still not going to do anything. Just saying. Be right back. Woo! I just did a slash on it, and look at how much health it caused. I'm a level 100. Machamp is so good. In fact, when he did the brick break, I was almost at the red. If he would have did cross chop, I think I would have been gone. Just saying. Uh, the champs are very, very good in their battling. But the only problem is that the champ is only one type. Now maybe if he was fighting in steel, maybe it'd be much more effective. I think. That that's a new idea for any uh, Nintendo people that, that want to make a Mega Machamp, you can do that with a fighting steel type. No way, I think we already have those. Or I think we already have one of those in fourth gen. I, th I think the name of it is Lucario. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking now. Darn it, darn it. Oh, I was just about to tell you about, oh, killed it. Okay, I'm gonna tell you about Hitmonchan. Hitmonchan is very good offensively, kind of like Hitmonlee. Both of them are good offensively, but really bad in their defenses. Defense, physical defense, and special defense. It's really bad. Trust me, it is. I mean, both of them are really bad. I mean, I had I had Hitmonlee in Pokemon Stadium. I was battling Hitmonlee with some other members, and it fainted, but like pretty fast. Either fainted or almost got down to, to fainting level. So, yeah, Hitmonlee and Hitmonchan, not that good defense. Also, as far as offensively goes, yeah, they're, they're pretty good. Alright, I'm going to go and continue battling right now. Okay, I don't even need to repeat this. But, um, man... You know what? This is Transmaster's uh, video right here. Yeah, this is Transmanager's man type of guy. In fact, I don't even know if this is even Transmaster uh, in a suit. Possibly. Okay. Um, let me go and battle this Steelix and I'll be right back with you. Hitmon Lee, like I said, with the Hitmon Chan, good offensively, but really bad in its um, 
defenses. Speed, eh, sort of average, but really bad, really, really bad in its defenses. So yeah, I would not, I would not uh, encourage Hip on Lee. Although Hip on Lee was the first one that that introduced high jump kick. I mean, back then, Pokemon Stadium, whenever you missed a high jump kick, you only get hit by one X, one HP. You'll get one HP less on your uh, HP account. That that's by the way your health points. It's this, it's the bar, see? My HP is 105 out of 243. And this was actually, believe it or not, this is this XP bar was actually introduced in Generation 2. Interesting fact. Just wanted to say that. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and battle him on Lee before he gets impatient. Okay, he's done. Let's grab some Agatha music. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, try to uh, uh, Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and work out for Agatha. And I will be right back. Well, according to my sprite, I am ready. That was quite an interesting book that the person was reading. 
The Mysteries of Gengar. All right, Hypno, let's do this. Agatha is known for her Gengars. Okay, Agatha, let's let's do this. I'm gonna dissect every one of your team teammates. So, as we know, my character was reading about. We were reading about Gengar, and. Why? Why does it do that? Okay. Anyway, Gengar. Um, he is known for his speed. Um, and, uh, good. Okay. Now, um, Gengar is known for its speed and for its, uh, specialty attack. But if you make it use a physical attack, it will be very weak because Gengar is not good physically. It is good specially depending on the nature of it. But most Gengars are good specially. Now, um, defense mm, depends on what the move is. Uh, they're, they're decent. I mean, special defense is decent. It's bad in its defense. That I can tell you that. I mean, it's really bad in its defenses, but um, the good news is that Gengar is a ghost type, so it doesn't even have to deal with most physical moves. Okay, maybe maybe I should battle now. Like I said before, um, Gengar um, is good in its speed. Um, it's known for its speed stat, but attack is is pretty good. Defense, no. defense. Don't don't enter my channel while I'm recording. All right, all right. I don't even know how he even knows how I'm even recording. Okay, okay. Defense um, is bad. In, it's bad in its defense, which most most attacks it deals with is not even a defense, and. Special attack. Um, good. Okay. Um, I was. I hate it whenever, whenever, whenever the lady interrupts. I, I, I just lose my, my train of thought. You know what? Fine. I'm just. I'm gonna mute. You know what? Good. I don't want to be in the server right now. I want to record. Thank you. That's actually what I was going to do. I was going to kick myself out of the surfer, but no. Okay. Okay, so let's go and get back to the uh, thought process that I was about to have. Okay, Gengar is good in speed, good in attack, and not, not attack, but good in special attack, bad in attack, bad in defense, um, decent in special defense. So I just want to say that. Mistrevious. What can I say about Mistrevious? It is a weak ghost type. Kind of, I, th I think it's kind of rare in the game, honestly. There's like only a couple of locations where you can get it. No, not even a couple. I think there's only just one location where you can get it. Um, but anyway, yeah. Um, it's rare, but... And, he, and it's useless. Let me explain why. It may be a ghost type, but it's still useless because it's bad and it's in its defense is really bad. Offensively, it's still still is bad. It's 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 just, it's just bad all around. I'm so glad that Gen Four gave gave this thing an evolution because otherwise I would have criticized this thing. I would have taken this thing downtown. I would have taken it downtown and criticized it. Almost like there was no tomorrow, but yeah. But too bad that that Mistrevious didn't get an early evolution because I now nah, I can say on the Pokemon Mo servers, it is bad. It is horrible. The only good thing it has is speed, which is which is good if you have decent attacks. If you don't have decent attacks, then speed stat is just bad. I mean, well, yeah, 
if the speed stat is is excellent and all the other stats are bad, then that's the bad poke. I don't care how you say it. It's it's almost like it's almost like Skyther. The the lower evolution of Caesar. Skyther is really good in speed, but really bad. Really bad in all its other stats. Just just saying. Probat! Oh boy, my favorite Pokemon. As you all can tell, I don't like battling against them. One, they are very good in speed. Very, I mean very good in speed. In fact, that's why most trainers have Crobats. The only bad thing it really has is its defense. I mean, its defenses are not too good because look at the thing. It's like, it's skinny. It's... Do you expect a skinny little purple bat thing to take on a rock slide? I wouldn't think so. I think that thing would probably be crushed if you use rock slide. But man, you would, uh, the the speed at, at least the special attack is decent. So so I would can I would qualify it as a good poke as long as you're not facing up a golem or a graveler or, or a tyranitar or so some, some poke like that. Okay. I'm going to get back to battle. Oh boy, Arbok. Arbok is such a horrible Pokemon. Let me tell you why it's a horrible Pokemon. It is not good in its defenses. If you do one Earthquake, or one Psychic, or one, one move that is super effective against Arbok, it's gone. I mean, seriously, it is gone. Or if you're near the level of Arbok, it will hit the red. I mean, this thing is the worst Pokemon ever created. Arbok. That, I do not like Arbok. In fact, in Pokemon Stadium, I did a little bit of an experiment. I want to see how, um, how bad this thing is. I battled against a Squirtle. The bubble! The bubble. When Aaron Squirtle used bubble, Arbok was at this health. It was supposed to be at this health as a full evolution poke. Arbok is horrible. I don't even know why this poke even exists. The only why that the only reason why why I like it is because of its shiny form. That's it. I don't like it otherwise. It's it's a horrible Pokemon to have in the battlefield. It's I don't even know why they even had Agatha have an, uh, have an Arbok. Arbok is bad. I mean, seriously. If you if you want to have an Arbok, just just keep saying, hopefully I won't get hit by anything. I'm gonna hope that the, my opponent does uh, uh, agility the whole the whole tournament. Yes, yeah, seriously. If if the if if some if some strong poke hit this thing, there'd be no potential. Just saying. This thing is pathetic. A pathetic little snake. May have the uh, cobra look to it, but still, it's it's bad. Believe it or not, uh, hypno. Believe it or not, Hi hypno actually did faint. And I don't know why it's still following me, but it fainted. So I think it'd be more fitting if I have this one follow me, because I'm also trying to train Clefable. Now, why am I training a Clefable? Reason number one. It is good in special defense. Um, and it just... It's just a cute poke. I mean... I mean... Um, I don't want to have it as my mascot though, because I don't want to look girly. But it it is just adorable. I I view I view Clefable as a girly poke. I mean, but seriously, I really do I really do claim that the Clefable is a girl, is is a for girls. But it's really good. It's really good in its uh, defenses. Um, I mean, really good. I mean, if you do a brick break on it, it'll still go on the yellow. So yeah, that 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 that's why I'm training up my Clefable. Okay, I'll go back. Okay, 
I'm at the, and that's why I'm actually doing the XP share on it. Just in case Hypno ever fainted like it did, I will train Clefable. So there we go. No, it doesn't even make any sense why, why Lance has those uh, dragon fangs. Okay, now time for my warm up. I should do my warm up by now. I should do that. Just, just saying. Hang on, guys. Let's go and do the warm up. Okay, I'm, I'm back, but uh, I'm doing my workout if you don't mind, because I need to battle against Lance. Okay. Let's do this. Welcome back! Alright, I think my character's ready for this. Okay, Lance, the Dragon Trainer, come on! Come at me! Gyarados, my character said what its type is, so... Um, I'm going to just trust my character. He's right. Its ability, Gyarados, is uh, Intimidate, which means it intimidates attacks. For Gyarados, if it's like a uh, water flying... Mm, uh, that ability is not so good if you're... Um, if Gyarados is facing off against a Jolteon or something, so just saying. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and, and battle this thing. Be right back. This is Kingdra. Now, why did I bring up Kingdra right now? Get this. Kingdra only has one weakness. You know what it is? A dragon type move. Use a dragon claw on it, it's super effective. Anything else? you're gonna just hit it normally. You use water, it's not gonna be effective. If you use ice, since it's water and dragon, it will neutralize the damage. So Kingdra, if you wanna, uh, if you wanna make your opponent squeal, then, then um, you need to have a Kingdra in your party. So uh, yeah. Um, I, I would like to say that um, about, about this uh, uh, Kingdra over here. Um, 
Now, also, another thing is that the only way you can evolve a Kingdra is if you make your uh, Seedra hold a Dragon Scale and trade it. But, there is a bit of a problem, though, with, with Kingdra. It is not that good in defense. So if you use a Dragon Claw, you'll probably, you'll probably knock it out. So, but, but it is, it is a pretty good poke all the way around. I mean, it's, it's decent. Let's just say it's decent. So yeah, okay. Let's go ahead and battle this thing and get this thing out of the way. It's good also special, especially, but its stats are equal, which is kind of, I'm kind of for that because it's not like one stat is getting the advantage and one stat is not getting the advantage. See, I'm kind of for that. All right, I'm gonna battle, I'm gonna battle this Kingdra and I'll be right back. <sighs> Aerodactyl, um, rock and flying. Let me go ahead and describe to you about Aerodactyl. It is excellent in speed because it always strikes first, no matter what level you are. I mean, my, my Tyranitar is level 100. This Aerodactyl is level, level 70. Aerodactyl still strikes first, believe it or not. And no matter what poke you are, Aerodactyl is just a speed, speed um, poke. It's also decent in, it, in its attack, in its physical attack, so be very careful with Aerodactyls. They can be deadly. Now, um, Aerodactyl, I remember in Pokemon Stadium, they are horrible in defense. And, well, no, wait, I take that back. They're, no, they're good in defense. Sorry about that. They're good in defense. They're horrible at special defense. I mean, horrible, horrible at defense. You know why? Because whenever when you use a Thunderbolt or something like that, watch what happens to an Aerodactyl. You'll knock it out pretty fast. You'll either knock it out or get it near the red. So yeah, Aerodactyl users, be very careful of Jolteons or Pikachus or Raichus, unless you have Earthquake. But then but then you'll have to deal with Pokemon like, oh, I don't know, Mamu Swine, that, that, that's kind of good in defense not really that good in special defense. So yeah, Aerodactyl users be very careful. You can use that speed to your advantage, however. Just saying. Okay. Um, okay, so, uh, I'll be right back, and I'm going to go and battle Aerodactyl. Although there is one glitch I would like management to work on. Um, if you do a, a rock slide on an Aerodactyl, the last time I checked, I don't think it's supposed to be super effective. I mean, unless I get proven wrong, I don't think a rock slide in an, with an Aerodactyl is super effective. Watch. I'm going to do this glitch on purpose, just so management can see this. I keep forgetting to report this to management. I'll be right back. Watch. See? Look. Rock slide, Aerodactyl, not supposed to happen. Not supposed to faint. Yes, I'm leveling up my, my Clefairy. Yes, I have leftovers on Tyranitar. Okay, Dragonite! Hit it with an Ice Beam, it's knocked out. And that's really the threat for Dragonite. If you have an Ice Beam or Blizzard, it's gone. Dragonite is... Uh, that's it. Dragonite's over. But, however, if you have a Rock Slide, you'll just hit it, like, probably near the yellow. I mean, depending on if the Dragonite is good on defense, but special defense, it's good as long as you don't blast it with an Ice Beam or Blizzard. Or Avalanche. Well, I'm, I'm not sure if Avalanche even exists in this game. But yeah, if you if you if you hit a Dragonite with with some ice type move, yeah, your your Dragonite's probably over. 
I mean, it's it's adorable, and this was actually my previous logo, uh, not logo, but um, yeah, no, he was my uh, second mascot. My lantern was my previous mascot. I'm trying to figure out wh who I can make as my new mascot. But Dragonite, uh, the reason why I made him my, my mascot is because he look. Does he look like a Barney character with with a little bit of a tan? Except with wings and an, with, and a horn and and an, uh, uh, antennas. Yeah, I figure that. I mean, he, he look at him. He seriously looks like a Barney character that just got a tan. Or not even a Barney character. He looks like straight up Barney. Okay. Again, I'm just a 90s child, so probably you all didn't even hear about Barney. I'm going to just battle right now. I'm, I'm going to battle right now. I'll be right back. Dragonite! Again. Like, like I said, Dragonite is sort of like a Barney character. And I explained it in my um, previous slide. So if you'll, I'm not going to explain it again. I'm gonna just fight this one. Okay, so you know what's so funny? I think I think Lance and your rival, I think, is the only NPCs that actually say your name. They're they're actually the only ones that really acknowledge your name. Wow, that's uh, in the in the whole Elite Four, these two people are the only people that say your name. Just want to say that. So since since I since I can't really um, since I can't really uh, um, go in the rivals room and um, and and chill out there, I'm gonna go ahead and take my little break here actually, and I'm gonna play some music um, that all of you may be ready for. Um, I will be right back with my workout. Okay, my character is going to be preparing for the rival. Okay. Three, two, one. Let's do it. Okay, according to my character, he is ready. That was a short break. Ah, the usual dialogue. And yes, I named my rival my rival enemy. Why can't I have the champion's chair for one day? Okay. Let's dissect his team. Okay, Hork Lacrosse. Bug and fighting. It's really good, really good in its offensive. In fact, it's so good, they decide to ban it in the whole tournament. That's how good Hork Lacrosse is. But there's a problem with Hork Lacrosse. If you use a Pidgeot, um, with a wing attack, then you are then 
then Herclacross is over. He's done. He's like, he's done. He's seriously, he is just like toast whenever you use Pidgeot on it. But okay, I'm going to go and battle Herclacross now. And my pinky was long enough to click that button. Just so I can pause the video. Okay, I'll use my two hands. Sorry about that. I have to I have to click Control Shift and F F11 all at the same time. So please bear with me. <gasps> oh no! Ah, just got them battling Venusaur. Okay, Venusaur, Squirtle, not Squirtle. <sighs> Venusaur, Blastoise, Charizard. Let me go ahead and describe all three of them, since since you all picked variety, uh, a variety amount of starters. Okay, let's start off with uh, uh, Venusaur. Venusaur is good in its defense. Uh, special defense, it's good in its it's good in its defenses. Offensive, eh, the average. Speed is pretty slow, but it's well worth it though. Especially Venusaur. Okay, Blastoise. Well, he's a turtle, so obviously he's not. He's of course he's not going to be good in speed. Okay. Special attack and special defense. It's kind of average on its special attack, especially the Hydro Pump. It's sort of good in its kind of good in its special attack. The special defense. It is good. I mean, it could, it could pack a punch. Let's just say it could pack a punch. Unless you use Thunder and you are a Thunder type using a Thunder. That's the only time I think Blastoise is going to get a one hit KO. But other than that, Blastoise is kind of like a tank. Also, physically, Blastoise is not the best choice for physical. Defense? Its defense is good. And Charizard? Charizard is excellent in... in uh, both, I think, both physical and and special attack. The only problem with uh, with Charizard is that it's sort of average on speed, but the defenses are really bad. I mean, special defense, ugh, that that Charizard is a bad bad poke. I mean, if you get hit one time by a Hydro Pump or a Rock Slide. You're done. You're you're over. <laughs> you're over, bud. You better choose a next, your next poke. Okay, let's see what else my rival has carried with him. Tyranitar. Oh boy, I get to describe about my own poke that I'm battling. Okay. Well, my, my own poke that I'm battling with. Okay, rock and dark. People keep mistaking it as ground and dark, and people are too afraid to hit it with a thunder move. You can hit it with a thunder move, but uh, it'll, it'll hit it, but it'll just hit it with neutral damage. But um, but it's not ground and dark. The, whoever said it's ground and dark, th that's not true. Now... The creators of Pokemon did this on purpose because they don't want Char they don't want Tyranitar to be an ultimate powerhouse. I mean, otherwise, if it's like if it if it was just like uh, ground and dark, then oh boy, that thing would be such a powerhouse. The the creators created something with the four times weakness on purpose to say they're not too much of a powerhouse. So rock and dark. Um, their weakness is fighting type, right? So if you have a Machamp and a Cross Chop, pretty much uh, Tyranitar is over with. Tyranitar is powerful, but not not really that powerful whenever when you have a Machamp and when you use Cross Chop on it. Now, uh, Tyranitar, whenever you use Crunch, Earthquake, or something in that in that shape, or not, not even Crunch or Earthquake. Use Crunch and Rock Slide whenever you can, because the, the, those two um, will get tight boost or stab. S T A B. You will get stab in improvements on your moves every single time you do it. Trust me. Tarantar can be a powerhouse as long as you be careful. I'm going to go in battle right now. Excuse me. 
RK9. Oh boy, I get to describe about RK9. May have the intimidating looks, but not really intimidating itself. Really good in its um, physical attack. I mean, heck, the the extra extra speed is really good on it. Um, but but I but there is a problem. One Arcanite is not really that good in its uh, not really good in its. Uh, well, I wouldn't. I I shouldn't say it's not really good in its defenses. I should say it's not good in its special attack, because um, it it depends on what what arc and what what RK9 you have. It's sort of confusing to to describe, because I've I've seen Arcanines that they're not so so good physically, and I've seen Arcanines that are not so good specially. So Arcanine is a well diverse poke in. Um, it's good because it's sort of like unpredictable, sort of. It sort of has that unpredictable nature to it. Uh, so yeah, Arcanine is an average poke. I mean, I, I, if I, um, if people told tell me told me that I should have one in my team, I mean, I I would like to train one if I could. But uh, again, it's average. It's an average poke, but not not many people use it in competitions. Just saying. Okay, I want to battle. I want to battle this Arcanine right now. Kazam! Oh boy, I'm sure so many teams have trouble with it. But, but what happens if I told you a secret? That if you have a Dark type, Alakazam can can hardly ever hurt you. I don't want to think about training your Mightyena on that because uh, Alakazam can actually damage other pokes. I mean, heck, I mean, with the sidekick, I mean, by gosh, that thing does a lot of damage. But here's the problem. Or, not here's the problem, but here's the difference. There is a difference between Alakazam and Hypno. Alakazam is like special, a special attacker. Hypno, the reason why I'm training Hypno is because Hypno is a special defenser. Like, for instance, it can take a punch. I mean, by gosh. I mean, whenever, whenever you use a solar beam on it, it would even it would just um, almost hit the yellow, but not necessarily hit the yellow. Hypno is such a good poke, and I, I endorse it. And actually, if you look on my forms account, you can actually see the sprite for Pokemon Stadium for Hypno. So yes, I like Hypno. Um... And I don't really care much about what the Pokedex says. I care more about um, if it battles and and uh, yeah, if if, if, it, if it battles nicely, I I like it. I mean, it doesn't take much for me to, to like a poke, obviously. Okay, let me go and battle this Alex Sam. Gyarados. This time, this Gyarados has an Intimidate on it. It's almost like every Gyarados has Intimidate on it. Gyarados, like I described in Lance, and if you all forgot about Gyarados, I'm going to explain it again. It's water and flying. Um, whenever you battle against, um, whenever whenever, uh, whenever you use a Thunderbolt or something on it, Intimidate is not a good ability for Gyarados. Actually, I feel sorry for Gyarados. For all the Gyarados users, I feel sorry for every Gyarados user that the, that is battling right now. Because trust me, I've seen a lot of teams that, that have Jolteon, uh, Raichu. So yeah, you, you better think about another poke to have because I seriously wouldn't recommend Gyarados. Gyarados is one of the worst pokes ever. I mean, water and fly... Who would ever think about a water and flying poke? I mean, you're just asking to get zapped by a thunder poke. Just saying. Okay, let me go and battle Gyarados and um, I'll get back to you once I well, once I make it faint. Okay, I'm back. I beat the Elite Four with you guys witnessing it. I finally beat the Elite Four. Um, but I filmed beating the Elite Four. It's not like I, I didn't 
film it before. Well, no, wait. I, I don't think I ever filmed myself beating the Elite Four before. So, yeah. I beat the Elite Four. And you all get to learn some beautiful facts with it, too. Oh, look at us. We get to, we get to go to the uh, champion area. Okay. Uh, Tyranitar. Okay. Um. All right, Clefairy. We know you want to train that bad, but okay. Okay, and this is Roy Rogers coming in at my own house. I think it'd be more fitting if I go to the studio, actually. Man, I, I just, I just, I want to say to, uh, if Black Eye's watching, I did not mean to ignore you. I was, I was filming this video as you were trying to talk to me. I mean, oh man, oh, the whispers are gone, but she asked if I was mad. I, I'm not mad at her at all. I, I was I was just filming a video. Um, I'm sorry that they can't, I didn't get to talk to you, though. I mean, the dings didn't um, didn't hit. So yeah, I apologize for uh, for not um, for not responding to you. Okay, and this is my sister's my my computer sister's favorite part too. I want I want darn it. I wanted her to say this. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go over to my studio, and since I have no people that that really recognize how to do this, uh, man, which black guy was on? Anyway, uh, all right. Uh, I'm not too sure if he even knows how to do the ending. Uh, Hmm. Okay. Okay, never mind then. Okay. I'll be right back. Obviously, uh, I'm going to go over here, and I need to end the video, so... Man, ah, oh, I just, I can't believe I actually missed Black Guy. Ah, oh, I mean, no, I'm not, I'm not mad at you, Black Guy, just said I was busy filming a video. I, oh, I'm, I'm so sorry. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll have to end this video then. Don, Channel 1, of course. Well, alright. Maybe Channel 1 is being cooperative. Maybe I could just sit in this bench. Okay, this is Roy Rogers coming in. Please comment or subscribe to my channel. Um, like or dislike. Definitely, please subscribe to my channel. I am, I am, uh, let's just say, I'm starting to lose my, my subscriptions. So, seriously, I need, I need all the subscriptions I can get. Please, please give me some subscriptions. So, um, please comment or subscribe to my channel. Just please subscribe. And like or dislike my my, my channel, um, and this is Roy Rogers coming in on this YouTube. Please, I I can't emphasize this anymore. Just can you please hit the subscribe button? Just please hit the subscribe button. Okay. I think I emphasized this enough. This is Roy Rogers coming in.